Joseph Priestley discovered oxygen in this room, the laboratory at Bowwood House, in 1774. He achieved this by heating mercuric oxide, HGO, and capturing the gas that was given off. He called the gas his new air. Oxygen gas had been isolated before by Carl Willem Schiele, but Schiele didn't recognize its elemental nature. Priestley was the first to publish, and he gets credit for the discovery. He tested his new air on mice and showed they could survive quite a long time in an enclosed chamber with just this gas. Then Priestley tested it by breathing it himself and found he enjoyed a renewed vigor. This was the beginning of the understanding of respiration, a subject of considerable interest. It was already known there was some essential material in air necessary for life, from experiments like this one, where if the air was evacuated from a chamber, a small animal like a bird or a mouse would quickly die. Antoine Lavoisier, a titan of chemistry, who was responsible for naming oxygen and establishing that respiration was essentially a slow combustion reaction, lost his head at the guillotine one of the most despicable acts in the reign of terror during the French Revolution. Joseph Priestley, thankfully, made a narrow escape from a mad and tolerant mob in Birmingham who burned down his home and church in 1791. He fled to the United States and was able to continue his work until he died in 1804 of natural causes.